know what is going on my beautiful army we are back with the jujutsu guys and courage class tillers now with the drop of this game man and me playing it bro i just want to tell y'all man that your boy is coming to y'all with the ultimate tier list with the season one tier list because we do got some dlcs coming on the way that i am gonna talk about i got seven characters that i think might be coming as a dlc i'm not gonna cap but getting back into the tier list man so right now we are going to be ranking all the members from s to d rank bro and i'm just gonna give y'all my honest opinions i'm gonna basically break some of them down in detail of why i put who at where you feel me but y'all boys know what to do though please like please sub please comment let's just hop straight into it now for the first person we got we got yuji itadori the main character the goat the man the myth himself now i'm going to have to put bro honestly at a tier now his kit is really good now i'm not gonna lie he might be the most agile and most smooth player in the game now i like how with his kit also it comes with a debuff making your player slower when you kick rocks at them and then you're able to follow up granted it doesn't come with a stun which i would feel that would be too broken if it did come with a stun now i would like it if those rocks would do at least a tiny bit of damage damage not a crazy amount but a tiny bit of damage because a debuff with a tiny bit of damage wouldn't be as crazy i feel like that would be a normal but with his kit with black flash and you know what i'm saying following up um i feel like it's pretty good you can do a lot of optimal combos with him you can do a lot of things with him you can do a lot of follow-ups with him and mainly because i like him a lot because he's a masher he's very easy to play for most of you guys bro if you have touched him he's very very easy to play bro my son megami the main the goat you already know i gotta put him in s rank bro let me tell you why the bird the wolf and mainly the biggest reason why i'm putting him in s rank is because the man has a grab that always fucking hits 99% of the time, bro. The grab always fucking hits. Once you hear that frog, bro, and you are near, you're getting grabbed. You're getting grabbed, bro. And you get to follow up on that grab. Because like I said, remember, if you try to hit him, if you try to hit him and he does the grab, that one hit, the moment he the moment your opponent gets that recovery it's, it's ggs for you you finna get you finna get comboed the fuck up i ain't gonna lie bro i ain't gonna lie bro is really a s tier character okay with the bird doing mad damage to you're able to send the bird out at a good distance and then the wolf oh my god when you get the wolf to level three it's honestly a ggs from there bro and this is why i like him and a lot he has close range kit he has a far range kit and if you really wanted to you can probably zone with him you can probably zone with him but it like it really all depends bro but i love his kit so much and the reason why he gotta go in s rank nobara nobara not gonna lie to you great zoner nobara is a great zoner if you know how to zone properly you can do a lot with her bro she has to also go in s rank bro she has to go in s rank bro she's a great zoner and you gotta understand bro once you get just one nail on somebody bro it already does a good amount of fucking damage and with her build up only being four to five bars to only get to level energy three i'm not gonna lie that's honestly just it's it, it, it's it's honestly way too easy with her it's honestly way too easy with her bro you can do a lot of damage literally without even having to be close to your opponent and even then when your opponent wants to come in you know what i'm saying suppress you or try to put pressure on you she can box in the close range don't think she cannot box in the close range she can box in the close range bro she got to bro her shit is nasty bro and with her also having an unblockable ultimate i'm not gonna lie bro it really puts her up there at the s rank that girl maki man that girl maki that girl maki that girl maki i'm not gonna lie maki is really a b tier type character now i respect maki she does have a dodge where you can dodge most attacks with and you are able to get out of your own comboing with dodge if someone is trying to pressure you from the back and you just want to move very quickly and then get on that person and then go back to the person you was fighting you know what i'm saying and she does have it to where that same dodge you can do a flip over that person so you can go to the other side of that person and still keep that combo going but i just don't think her kit is really all of that you know like female like she can throw like a like a kunai at like a decent length like i think it's like mid-range type of length but i don't think her kit is really that good but i don't think she's like a horrible type character you feel me so that's why i have to put her in the b tier Tog, oh my god man Tog is probably oh my god 
Tog is an A tier character for sure, for sure, for sure. Now, let me explain this why. Now, he is mostly a close range type character. Now, this is facts. Even though in the anime, his, uh, you know what I'm saying, his power does, you know what I'm saying, you can use it at medium to long range, but he is a close range type character, bro. And he can, he has probably the second best combo in, in the fucking game. It's absolutely nasty. I'm not going to lie to you. You gotta also understand his ultimate is a counter ultimate, bro. So if you're about to hit, bro, he does a counter and then he uses his voice and then activates his ultimate, bro. So with him having a counter for one of his abilities, bro, is absolutely type insane, bro. It, it, it like you know what I'm saying, bro. So that's why I just have to put Tog in that A tier. Panda, oh my God, Panda, Panda definitely 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 going to see to the only reason okay so uh, this is me uh, uh like after making the video and playing the game a bit more panda i put panda in c tier but honestly he's a b tier type character to a tier type character reason being is because when you go into his gorilla mode he has super armor and basically he is basically invincible bro he can go ape shit bro he like you know what i'm saying if your opponent is trying to hit you and you're in gorilla mode he is that nigga he you know what i'm saying bro he's just gonna ape on you the whole entire game panda's whole arsenal is literally just to be annoying and just say ape your ass down bro that's literally what it is bro and going up against a lot of people uh if you're trying to get zoners if you're trying to chase somebody if you're just trying to mash somebody down that's what his kit is mainly good for and seeing that now i can definitely say he's definitely a solid b tier character not gonna lie because he's not bad he's definitely not bad but he's just not for me still but yeah he's definitely a b tier type character oh do to do to do to do man do. I, I like toto i really do i really do i really do but i don't think toto is really all of that i um i i still haven't figured out his teleporting ability he's not a bad character though i like his comboing for him being just as big as panda he, uh, his comboing is a bit better it is a bit uh more optimal it's not bad it's 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 definitely not bad but I, like i really don't like him as much either so i would definitely also have to put him in c tier he's just not one of my favorite characters i'm not gonna lie and i don't really like his kid i don't feel like his kid really has you know a good amount of shit that you can use even with the boogie woogie i just don't feel like he has enough in his kit bro which is why i have to put him at c and we gotta put gojo in the s tier okay look man gojo you gotta understand with his ultimate being in domain expansion bro literally if you do one skill bro you can literally kill somebody in one hit it doesn't matter it does not matter what the health is at bro you literally do so much damage when you get his domain expansion off not even that bro vortex uh the ball vortex you can put it at any range you want you can put it at close mid long and same thing with his r2 bro you can literally charge that john up if you really want to and not even that bro not even that purple hollow bro purple hollow does so much damage bro it is not even a choke bro and this is me just talking about his abilities y'all just his abilities his you know what i'm saying his regular skill fighting set and his combo one is so good bro i'm not gonna lie he you can really play gojo as a master too if you really want to bro he's really good playing as gojo reminds me at um like playing in xenoverse bro because bro like in his combo and he teleports behind you he does like certain moves behind you he uses his r2 when he teleports behind you so playing as gojo really just reminds me of playing xenoverse bro so this is why i really really like him bro and this is why he has to be in the s tier category nana me nana me nana me now nah, i'm not gonna lie nana me is not really like a crazy character in my opinion but i definitely do respect him enough and i like his kid enough and see that his kid does at least deserve to be in that b tier he's definitely not a bad character he definitely is not a bad character for sure for sure for sure but you must understand that he does not do like a lot of damage when he comes to a lot of his like abilities like his r1 and r2 he doesn't do like a lot of good damage to be honest with you bro and that's perfectly fine because i feel like he's more of a support type damage character instead of like a mainly on his own type damage character bro i'm not going to lie which is perfectly fine but that's just how i feel about nanami <sighs> yuta Yuta, Yuta, Yuta. It's 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 pretty sad why I'm about to have to put this boy. And I know a lot of y'all about to get mad, but Yuta, 
is a really good character okay i'm sorry if you bought this game for youtube but now seeing it youtube is probably not even probably he is the worst character in this game you must understand in this game yes skill and abilities matter and teamwork matter but the, most times bro and the matchups that you're gonna find and play abilities are gonna weigh over skill okay and it's you know what i'm saying it's literally just a fact yuta is only good when he has rika out because rika literally she breaks combos she literally does a parry hit like bro she's like bro if yuta does not have rika yuta's not good i'm sorry because bro there's a lot of matchups in the game if yuta is fighting yuta is going to lose if he's going up against a puppy user he's going to lose if he's going up against a zoner he's going to lose even if he's going up against a masher like you know saying yuji he's most likely going to lose yuta is not really a good character and i don't blame the devs because there's not much they can do with him but i feel like they should at least change it up to where you know like feel me like they make it to where he has rika at the start like how you know iso has his brother at the start or make it to where he can summon rika and you know what i'm saying like summon rika and you know what i'm saying de summon rika like how megami is able to bro because at least that'll make him better because i'm not gonna lie yuta is the worst character in the game i'm sorry to say he's not good he doesn't have a good r1 like his r1 is like his R1 is decent. His R2 is like, you know what I'm saying? You infuse curse energy, so you do more damage. Yuta is literally only a heavy damage combo word, bro. And even in like, you gotta understand, combos don't last for that long. Yes, you can extend them if you have a teammate for a little bit more, but that's really it, bro. Like, Yuta is not that good of a character, and he's not really that good to utilize. If anything, they either gotta make the bar for, uh, for Rika to get faster and make it to where you can have Rika level one, level two, level three, or they make it to where you can summon Rika, bro. Like, feel me, like throughout the levels and shit. But right now, Yuta is the worst character in the game. And I put him at B tier, I think. I, I would 100% put Yuta at D. Playing the game more, he's definitely a D tier character. I'm sorry. Gito. Uh, my son Gito, my son Gito, my son Gito. I think Gito's like an A tier type character. He's not bad. I like when his little caterpillars come out. You can also use his, like, um, his little monkey, which, you know what I'm saying, send three rays down to the ground. It's more mid range. You can't just use it from anywhere on the map, which is absolutely nasty, bro. It's not even a joke. But you gotta understand, bro. Gito is definitely a A tier character. I don't think he like you know. I say he has a pretty good kid. He definitely has a pretty good kid. But I don't think he's nothing crazy to really all can go about. To to be honest, but at the same time, when I played him, he I I would definitely say he is S tier. That boy Jogo, another great zoner. I'm not gonna lie. Jogo's a very good zoner with his domain expansion too. I'm not gonna lie. I would honestly have to put Jogo also in the s tier the only bad thing about him is when you're just regularly moving around he's incredibly slow he's incredibly slow i don't know what's weighing him down but he's just really incredibly slow but when you're really moving around with him in the air and just on the ground using uh a run stamina he's a very very good character bro and also with his domain expansion uh having him do 70 percent more damage in his domain expansion and him be able to take out people and literally one one to two hits not even two hits one hit is absolutely disgusting also i like his kit to where you know what i'm saying you can like set up traps with his kit you can also like uh shoot like uh lava lasers which i find pretty good bro so in my opinion i would feel like he definitely is an s tier character the only really bad thing about him is that he's really slow when moving around with no running stamina but besides from that bro he's def he definitely deserves to be in that s tier Hanami is definitely D tier, bro. She Hanami is definitely the only person that I would say is D tier. She is also a zoner, but she has okay. You gotta understand, she has a tree that, like, from like being a zoner, in my opinion, I feel like you should not be standing still for a long time. And even if you are standing still, or if you like uh, stand still in the air for like you know like two to three seconds or one to two seconds, it should be an ability that you know i'm saying that comes out pretty quick like how with nobara and jogo that happens but with her she doesn't really have abilities like that bro mahito 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 is definitely an a tier t character now he has puppets also but i don't consider him like a crazy puppet character because with his puppets uh you send his puppets out and they do like one hit and then they disappear now granted when you get his uh you know saying his curse energy to level three you can uh max the capacity of your puppets to five which then if you're more on like a groundy type map 
um you know what i'm saying you can send out your puppets but even then i feel like with his puppets they have to make it to where in the air because most of the times or not most of the times where 50 50 the fight is in the air and 50 50 the fights on the ground like from obviously if you see like some little shit running up to you all you're gonna have to do is just jump but granted some of the times you might not even see it because of how the terrain in the map is but besides from his puppets i really do like his r2 being able to send out you know i say a whole bunch of curses and hit you bro and it really does go a far distance bro it does a lot of damage it does a lot of damage i like his regular combo in two it's not bad being able to go with a big swing and then after that you can use like a drill if you want to he's definitely not a bad character bro the only thing i really have to say about him is his puppets i don't really like how his puppets is i would just say that they should make it to where his puppets can also go in the air too but that's neither here or there this is all just my opinions and stuff so yeah oh my god iso and kisuse if that's his name bro s tier Tuh, another s tier character you cannot tell me that this man is not s tier not only okay not only if you go near him his brother starts beating up on you no matter who it is okay it does not matter if you go near him without even pressing a button you can literally leave your controller on the table if you go near him or you're not saying um he goes near somebody else like an enemy he's going to beat the fuck up out of somebody his little brother beats the fuck up out of somebody okay okay boom and then after that the comboing that they do with each other is absolutely disgusting boom and then not even only that bro you gotta understand he has two abilities that he can use he can up the damage on you okay using his little brother's blood or if he really wants to he can use poison decay on you bro and that does a lot of damage also and and with that too you can stack on that normal attacks bro because you feel like you gotta understand when you're using poison if you use the blood attack the poison is just gonna get off you know what i'm saying you cannot use poison um effects and, and a blood effects at the same time they're gonna negate each other so basically if you use the poison bro and just run away the whole game and and then just hit square a couple times bro do a couple combos you're gonna kill the person bro because the you know what i'm saying because bro it stacks bro it literally just stacks like the damage just keep on stacking keep on stacking until you either deactivate the effect as a whole or you're not saying the person dies and it's absolutely disgusting bro it's disgusting it's disgusting it's disgusting iso is probably one of the best characters in this game bro and he's a puppet user too and with him also i'm pretty sure his ultimate is a unblockable bro he is disgusting he is disgusting he is disgusting bro so there's no way he is not an s tier character it's just no way bro if you play sukuna i know a lot of people have played sukuna he is not a comboer at all so that's why in my opinion i don't like him but even then but even then, with me not liking the fact that he cannot combo, I would definitely still have to say Sukuna is an A tier character. Yeah, okay, yeah, one more time. So basically, I put uh, Sukuna at S tier um, towards the end of this because I changed my mind. But still, I'm going to explain even more why it, he should be in the S tier category. This nigga does so much damage, and it's not even that. Intimidation is literally his biggest fucking thing. That stun that you get off intimidation, especially when it's at level 3, is fucking disgusting, bro. This this guy is literally just a heavy damage nigga and he's almost like a tank basically he's almost like a tank that you can you know what i'm saying have some good mobility and move around with bro this nigga just does so much damage bro that's literally his whole output bro to literally just knock niggas back and to just interrupt combos every single time that's literally his whole kit bro Sukuna is a S tier character, bro. And especially, especially, especially when you use Fire Arrow. Oh my God, bro. He is so disgusting, bro. Sukuna is 100%, without a doubt in my mind, S tier material, bro. It doesn't even matter that you cannot combo with him like that anything bro it really don't bro hey man but this is the end of the tier list this is the final tier list right here this is actually the fixed tier list with me fixing it and all that this is actually the final tier list right here um honestly these are just you know what i'm saying like this is more of my opinion but just you know me playing the game early and me also talking with other people about it you know what i'm saying like this is what my conclusions come to you know what i'm saying but yeah bro this is my tier list and you know what i'm saying y'all niggas tell me in the comments that i get anything wrong i know y'all niggas gonna go crazy over youtube but over time once a few weeks pass by y'all gonna see it too there's way better characters than youtube bro i'm just being honest here and the s tier niggas that i put at s tier trust me they are s tier characters bro 
and yeah man um but i appreciate y'all boys y'all boys know what to do please like please sub please comment you feel me and i got some dlc videos coming on the way too so stay tuned for that i love each and every single one of y'all have a blessed day keep watching anime my beautiful army peace